Buenos dias, chicos y chicas. Soy Senorita O'Brien reporting in for day 46 of your contingency plan packet. We are on the bottom left-hand corner on the bottom row of uh, week 10. We're doing verb review this week. You're going to be rereading your notes for ERIR verbs today and answering one question on Google Classroom. Your question is going to look like this. So the question itself says, answer this question in English. Why are ER and IR verbs taught together? You guys, instead of this instructions, you'll have a, a short answer um, to put your answer in English. And the directions say, reread your PowerPoint notes on ER and IR verbs before you answer this question. So you have um, the link to the Google Slides on ER and IR verbs. I'm going to just read them again, just so we get a refresher on them. I'll make it full screen so we can see even better. There we go. Why are we learning about ER and IR verbs together? ER and IR verbs tend to be grouped together because they use the same endings for almost all of their pronouns. Refresher on how to change or conjugate your verbs. Step one, drop your ER or IR ending of the verb. Step two, determine which pronoun you're going to use. Step three, add the appropriate ending. And then you have on the left-hand side your ER verb endings, O, A, S, A, Emos, A, S, N. And then for IR verbs, you have O, A, S, A, Emos, E, S, and N. So once you read through your PowerPoint, go back into your classroom, answer the question, and then you are all set. I'll see you guys in a little bit on Google Classroom. I'm going to run over um, some organizational stuff and housekeeping. I look forward to seeing you guys, and we'll talk soon. Nos vemos.